Hey everybody, so this is the last video for section 10-1, unless, unless anybody wants more stuff. Um, I'm actually really enjoying making these, actually. I'm having a good time with this. So let's go ahead and go through the skills practice. This is kind of like, um, you know, you've, you've learned it, hopefully. You've practiced it through the notes and the study guide intervention. This is kind of like, it tells us if we know it or not. So let's go ahead and try these out. You, hopefully you've already tried these. The purpose of this video is to give you the answers if you've already tried it. You can check your work. Or... If you're having a really hard time, skip ahead to the problem you're looking at and, and then see how I did it. But don't just watch this and then just copy it down, obviously. This is more for folks who have attempted it and want to see how they did. All right, so here we go. Uh, the first seven, we're going to be using this example over here on the right. So name the circle. Remember, we name a circle by its center point, which in this case is P. So we're going to call this circle P. Name a radius. A radius is a line segment who has an end point at the center and the other end point on the circle itself. So we have a few different options here. We have uh, PA. Uh, PC or PB. And again, you can always reverse the order of those letters. Name a chord. A chord is a line segment whose endpoints are on a circle. So we have DE and AB. AB. Okay. Name a radius not drawn as part of a diameter. So again, these are both radii drawn as part of a diameter, so this would only be CP. Now, radius is a line segment who has one endpoint on the center and one in the circle itself. Okay, suppose, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this better. Suppose the diameter of the circle is 16 centimeters. Find the radius. So if, this, if the diameter is 16, the radius is half of that, so it would be 8 centimeters. If PC is 11 inches, find AB. So PC is the radius, it's 11. AB is the diameter, so it's going to be double 11, which would be 22 inches. Okay. Oh, look at this problem. This is interesting. The diameters, this is a symbol, by the way, for circle F and circle G. So diameters of circle F, which is this circle here, and circle G, this looks like a Venn diagram, are fi <coughs> 5 and 6, respectively. So this is a 5 diameter, this is a 6 diameter. Okay. So in other words, from A to G is 5, and from B to C is 6. That's important to denote. Okay. Find each measure. We're looking for BF. So that little difference there. Interesting. Huh. And A, B. Okay, so the first, this is, this is going to be really confusing for some people because of the way it's drawn. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to just find out what we know already. So we know that, um, we know that this diameter here is, is, is 6, right? So we know this is 3. Okay, we know this is 3. Because we know the whole thing is 6. Okay. And I'll use a different color here. This is going to be tricky. I haven't tried this one yet in a while, actually. It's been a long time since I did this one. And then we know this uh, diameter from A to G is 5, and we know the center is F. So half of 5 is going to be 2 and a half. So it's 2 and a half. And that is going to be 2 and a half. Okay, that's interesting. And we're looking for BF, which is the difference right there where that overlap is. Okay. And we're looking for that leftover. So here's the thing. We know from we know from here to here is two and a half. We know from B to G is three. So this little part here would be the difference of three and two and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and subtract that. So three minus two and a half, which would be a, which would be a half. So this right here would be half a unit from B to F. So one half unit. Okay. So this is one half a unit, then this would be what's left over from two and a half, so this would just be two. So this would be two units. Interesting problem. That's an interesting one. I think drawing in the radii actually helped quite a bit for that one. Okay, the diameter and radius of a circle with the is find the diameter and radius of a circle with a given circumference. Round to the nearest hundredth. So we're gonna need another piece of paper there. There's not enough room. Okay. It's round to the nearest hundredth. Probably gonna use our calculator for this one too. So we have circumference. So circumference is this number 10. Circumference is equal to 36 meters, and we're looking for the radius, and we're looking for the diameter, okay? So remember that C equals 2 pi r, or you could also call it C equals d times pi. They both mean the same thing. So 36 equals um, 2 pi r, and we're going to go ahead and find r, so we're going to divide both sides by 2 pi. And this is going to be 18 over pi. And that would be our radius. So radius equals 18 pi. Sorry, I lied. 18 over pi. 
and the diameter is double that, so it's going to be 36 over pi. Okay, I'm not going to do the rest of those because they're literally all say, say, solved the exact same way. I'll do one more, but we're not going to do all those. Uh, so I'll do the same thing here. So number 11, we have c equals 17 and 2 tenths feet. So that's the c equals, so c equals 2 pi r. So 17 and 2 tenths feet equals 2 pi r. We're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2 pi. So we're going to find half of 17 and 2 tenths. So 17 and 2 tenths divided by 2 is 8 and 6 tenths. So we're going to go ahead and write 8 and 6 tenths over pi. That's the radius, and the diameter would be double that. So it would be 17 and 2 tenths over pi. Okay, so I'll write that over here. So we're going to have r equals 8 and 6 tenths over pi. <coughs> Excuse me. And diameter is equal to 17 and 2 tenths over pi. Okay. And we're not going to do 12 and 13 because honestly those problems are kind of boring. I'm not going to lie to you. If you want to do them, all right, that's fine. Two of those is plenty, honestly. All right. Uh, 14 and 15. Oh, I like these. These are cool. All right. So find the exact circumference of each circle. So this is inscribed, remember, because this is inside this, the, uh, the circle. This is a better one because they actually show us. So these four sides are congruent. Therefore, this would be, at the very least, it would be a rhombus. Um, all right, so find the circumference. So we can assume that it is a right angle because these are equidistant and they're both chords. Yeah, we can go ahead and assume that. So this is actually a 45, 45, 90 because it is an isosceles right triangle. So you can use either the special right triangle formula or you can use the uh, Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to go ahead and use the special right triangle because it's just quicker. So this is x, this is x, this is x radical 2. So this is going to be 3 radical 2. That's going to be the diameter. So I know that c equals 2 pi r. It also equals d times pi. So I can just put this value in for the pi and call it a day. So 3 radical 2 pi, and that's centimeters, is the circumference, which is the length around the circle, obviously. Let's do the last one here. So we have a quadrilateral here. It looks like this is a rectangle. So this is 8, this is 15. Interesting. We're going to use Pythagorean theorem. So I like how they didn't do the same triangle. They're just being trying to be tricky. So we're going to try to find this. We're going to use Pythagorean theorem. We're going to call this A. We're going to call this B, and this is going to be C. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We're going to say 15 squared plus 8 squared equals C squared. And for all you math, I think it's 225, but... Don't make fun of me. I forgot. Yeah, 225. Look at that. I always like to check. I always get nervous. 225 plus 64, because 8 squared is 64, equals C squared. Let's add those together. We're going to get 289, I believe. Let's just double check. It'd be embarrassing to get that wrong. There you go, 289. Look at that. And then we're going to square root both sides. So we're going to do square root of 289. I don't know if that's a perfect square. It is a perfect square. Look at that. 17. I don't know that. So 17 equals C. So we know the diameter is going to be 17. And remember, C equals both 2 pi r and just d pi. So C equals uh, 17 pi feet. And that's all she wrote. Okay, so that is the skills practice. So just in review, uh, you know, we need to know our vocabulary. We need to know how to apply it. We need to know how to find, you know, lengths of lengths of line segments within within the circles. And we need to be able to calculate circumference, radius, and diameter. So hopefully this was helpful. This is kind of a tricky zoom in here. Hold on. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions on this. This is a this can be a little confusing at first. All right. So hopefully this was helpful. Thanks, guys.